Hey guys, RC here. This is FM20, and this is episode 40 of our single team save with Forest Green. Uh, so I'm recording this on today's Wednesday, and this will be going up on Monday. So you guys know I, I try to record ahead of time, but I'm going to be a little tied up this weekend, so I need to get some recording done early. And then I want to make sure I have all of next week's episodes ready to go because uh, you may have seen in the transfer special, I uh, had a friend that passed away uh, last Friday and uh, his funeral services are next Friday, so in a week and a half. Um, so you'll see this on Monday. I'll be out of town Thursday and Friday, flying back Saturday because it's out of state. Uh, so I'm losing three days of recording and rendering and uploading uh, time. And they're all days that, you know, I usually have videos up. So I don't want you to miss anything. So uh, I am just efforting to get ahead of things uh, here while I have a little bit of free time uh, getting home before the wife from work and it gets a little noisy so let's get rolling and i'll try to knock out at least one episode if not two today uh, after last episode we played uh, swansea and watford uh, we beat birmingham 3-1 uh, brace from adam ida harvey white added another uh, penalty uh, we then lost to leicester in penalties in the third round of the carabao cup uh, we got a goal from Adam Ida. They equalized right before the half, and uh, then we lost in penalties. A 2-0 win over Rotherham. Uh, they got an own, gave up an own goal in the opening minute, and Aaron Collins scored about midway through the first half, and we coasted to the victory. Nottingham Forest, a 2-1 win. Adam Ida with a brace, including a 92nd minute penalty for the game winner. Hull, we lost 1-0 away. Uh, Marco Jankovic with a penalty for them in the first half. 3-1 win over MK Dons. Roger Stevenson with a goal and Leighton Stewart with a second half brace. He continues to look good. Southampton a 1-1 draw. Aaron Collins with a late goal to put us up 1-0. And then Danny Ings with a 95th minute stoppage time goal. I was not happy. Uh, Reading a 3-2 win, Adam Ida with a brace. Gabrielle Bellotti, uh, one of the new center backs that we signed this year with goals, and they got a brace from George Puskas. Uh, Luton, we drew nil-nil, so pretty uneventful game there. We're back for Bristol City and Sheffield Wednesday today. Taking a look, we are top of the table on 35 points, a plus 17 goal differential Three ahead of Bristol City uh, on the goal differential and uh, got a couple of points on Nottingham Forest and Southampton. Uh, starting to open a gap uh, over Crystal Palace, Leeds, and Millwall for that last playoff spot. Uh, and again, we're only shooting for a top half this year, which is 12th position, and we've got an 11-point cushion there. So things are looking good to get through the season and finish where they want us. I'm hopeful for promotion, but who knows? Uh, it's a long season, but we've started well. We've started well. We are in November. Nothing new on the transfer front. And dynamics, very good locker room, excellent leadership support, good team cohesion. Uh, Leighton Stewart does want to join West Brom, and he is concerned uh, I have promised to sell him. We'll see. Uh, I have 90 days, which I guess takes us to the end of the January transfer window. So we may be losing him. Yanev is asking to leave. This is the one because we broke a promise to sign a friend to help him settle. I have no idea where to find any friend names for him, for him that he would want me to even look at signing. We do have that guy that's coming in January, so... We'll see if he accepts that. And then he's also looking at, uh, I bumped him from a regular starter. What did I make him? Uh, breakthrough prospect. 
and he wasn't happy about that. I figured, hell, if I'm going to piss him off, let's just go all out. Taking a look at the hierarchy, one player with no opinion, and that's Oscar. Everybody else supports me, even the unhappy guys, so that's interesting. Mostly one core social group. We do have a small group here in the second, mostly some newer players, some foreign players, and then Clarkson and Stevenson, uh, new players that just haven't found their spot yet. Let's get to the match. So we have nine players off on international duty in the international break that's coming up after this match. Uh, real quick, I know I put it on my uh, little intro the other day, but this is the first episode I am recording. You know, you guys, if you've seen any of my channel, you know, I'm, I'm big into rock music. I was, I was a, a teenager in the 1980s. Uh, grew up on 80s metal and rock and roll, bands like Motley Crue and Rat. Uh, and then, you know, going back and getting into bands like Zeppelin and Sabbath. But, you know, Motley Crue, Rat, Ozzy, um, bands of that ilk were the cornerstone of my youth. And there was one guitar player that really kick-started that generation of music, and that was Eddie Van Halen. Um, if you have not seen or heard of him, uh, just go Google Van Halen Eruption, and it's an instrumental by him, and that changed the landscape of guitar playing forever. Um, and he he died from uh, throat cancer uh, yesterday, so uh, it's been you know. Didn't know him personally for sure, but you know that was you know basically birthed the the music of a gen of my generation. So it's you know when when the icons of your generation start to die, um, it really starts to make your mortality set in. So um, anyway, big loss to the music world, big loss to my generation. Uh, know a lot of people are uh, really struggling today with that. Uh, you know, trying to come to terms. I'm trying to come to terms with this cat that wants to be on camera. All right, well, let's get to the match. What do you say? We're playing Bristol City today. Uh, we have uh, split the three games that we have played. They're slight favorites at home, but we are at home. So we're going to go attacking. We'll have Collins and Ida up top. Uh, two major goal scorers for us, Mitchell and Stevenson. Uh, Stevenson, a newcomer this year. White, Vieira in the mid. Wharton, McGinley, Bellotti, and Rawson on the back line. Rawson is able to play right. Uh, not great, but he's able to go over there when we have some issues. Uh, Yanev is injured. And who is our other guy? Uh, I really want, I want to put Morell in here. I think I'm going to take Kiko off and let's put McGinnis on. Palmer in the goal. Maybe he'll get a clean sheet for us today. That would be nice. Pretty good response to the pep talk before the match. And we get an early corner. Goes at the near post and it's Bellotti. His second goal of the season off the set piece. White with the assist. And that is what we like to see with Bellotti. I think that's him. There he is right there. And he makes the run at the near post right to the edge of the six-yard box. Puts it in back post. And we are looking good here in the early going. I was going to say three shots with two on target. Uh, that rapidly changed, and now we're not looking quite as good. So let's ask for a little creativity. They're focused. We have another set piece. And that gets through, and it falls to Aaron Collins in the middle of the box. And he slots home his ninth of the season. And we are sporting a nifty 2-0 advantage. That got through a crowd of people. So we'll be pretty happy with that. Collins, of course, uh, set the new standard for the club earlier this season, all-time leading goal scorer for Forrest Green. Over the top to Mitchell. Uh, Ida 
If he would have put his left foot on that, he might have scored. But he let it come all the way to his right foot, and that did not look quite as good. There's O'Malley, our former keeper, now playing for Bristol City. And he decides to play a little catch with uh, his replacement, Palmer. Over the top, Stevenson's in. Uh, and I think he felt sorry for O'Malley. Kicked it right to him. Pretty dominant first half. We will take that. Uh, excellent efforts. Stevenson sporting that yellow card. And we will move on from there. Let's demand more. All right, Rawson is pressured. All right, let's go ahead and pull off pull off Stevenson. Let's bring McGinnis on. And would like to bring Harvey White's got two assists. Let's bring uh let's bring Leighton Stewart on for Ida. Usually I would bring Collins off, but Collins has a goal today. He's looking a little bit better. Stewart pulls in the ball, gets it back out to White. Oh, he took a bad angle on that shot. That was not the best move. I think he should have laid it back to the edge of the box. Oh, Collins got a head on it. Got knocked away from Stewart. Collins charged in, put his left peg on it, and he slots home. His second of the game, 10th of the season. And we are now 3-0. Rawson goes deep. Collins heads it. Let's go ahead and uh, pull our, ask our keeper to slow the pace down. That'll be good. Mitchell is looking a little knackered. Let's go ahead and pull that sub. And we'll bring on Ezekiel Vidal. He'll make a rare appearance. Man, maybe I should have brought Wharton on. What do you think? I don't know. I think we're going to drop back to balanced here. Near post. Gets headed over and put in at the back door by Callis. His first of the season. Oh, that's, that's gutting. Gutting. Don't forget, let me know what you guys in the comments. Let me know. Oh, my God. What the hell is this? concentrate if you have any ideas for saves that's poor poor let me know in the comments any save ideas that you guys would like to see for FM 21 I'm gonna start taking some suggestions from you guys and uh, yeah, you know, I I may I'm you know I usually do a journeyman style save. I may not do one this year. I think I would love to do. Usually I do two saves. I do one for like I do my beta save, and then I do my first main save for like half the year, and then the second half of the year I do another save. So odds are I'm gonna do a Leeds United save this year with them being back in the Premier League. You know, just I think I have to do that. Uh, as a Leeds fan, I haven't done a Leeds save. It was either 18 or 9. It was 18, I think. Maybe even 17. I don't remember. But uh, anyway, let me know what you guys think about uh, any other save, right? Just, you know, any ideas that you have. I would love to hear them. Take them under advisement. And then, you know, I may look at, at those as well and pick one of those for our beta save as well. Vintage display earns Forest Green victory. Collins with two goals looks really good. And that makes it five unbeaten in a row. So that's great. We'll be back for the next match here in just a second. All right. Well, we have uh, we have had a plethora of injuries. Had to pull out the dictionary and look up that word for you. No, plethora. Uh, we have four players out injured, Nathan McGinley, Harvey White, Joe Morrell, and Gareth Swatridge. Uh, one of them was injured on international duty uh, in the two-week interim, and three of them were injured in training, so they are going to be out. Roger Stevenson is also suspended for yellow card 
accumulation. Uh, we do have another sellout. I don't know if you guys have been kind of looking at that, but we are selling out consistently at the stadium. And I want to say, yes, we have the ground expansion. So they will finish that right right around uh well right around new year's this year so we're we're we got the expansion came back in at the end of last year they're doing another expansion which shut down one of the stadium stands which dropped us back down so we haven't had an actual full stadium in two seasons now kind of crazy all right, well, let's get to today's match, Sheffield Wednesday. We're going to have a lot of holes to plug here. Who does my main man tell me to put in here? So Collins and Ida up top. Mitchell McGinnis on the wings. McGinnis coming in for Stevenson. Kiko coming in for White. Vieira in for Morell. Wharton and Rawson. Lindsey Bellotti. Uh, do I have maximum of five loan players? Yeah, I'd like to put Nico Williams in there, wouldn't I? Can we take Oscar off, possibly? And then I could put Williams on for Rawson. I like that better. Kind of like that better. Yeah, a lot of match fitness problems. Some guys that don't play a lot of minutes. And that is okay. I've been watching some of the videos for, um, you know, wish lists oh that was poor you know wish list for fm21 uh you want to get to the ball there Bilotti? thank you and don't lose it shit breakaway near post and miete miete second goal of the season i'm going to go with miete that sucked very very poor performance don't need to watch that crap again uh, show some passion. Let's see if we can fire him up a little bit. Normally I would go for the creativity in the early going, but being that we're already down a goal, demand more. Bellotti out to Wharton. Wharton finds Mitchell on the run. He crosses it back post and McGinnis blocks it off the frame of the goal. Let's see, Ajaye, Palmer, Luongo, Asambalonga. Recognize a lot of the players here from last season when we were uh, down in the championship. Of course, now it looks like Wednesday's going to get relegated down to uh, League One or League Two. Whatever the whatever the next one down is, I don't I don't know. Oh, pounced on by Mitchell. He shoots. Can't tell if that was a save. Doesn't look like it. So we're gonna go in at half, down one goal. We've had the better part of the half. Uh, let's go assertive. Where's your passion? All right, we get a quick highlight here. Oh, that's bad. And Lindsay loses the ball. Asambalanga. Ooh, what a save by Palmer. They were trying to beat him at the near post again. Come on, boys. All right, head it out. Let's ask for some creativity. All right, inspired by the feedback. All right, Nico Williams, let's go ahead and pull him off. He's not playing well. We're going to put Rawson on out there. Vitasevich? Let's bring Clarkson on. See if we can liven the boys up. All right, headed out. Kiko's there. Entry pass. McGinnis. Ah, come on. Vieira tracks it. Still on the attack, and nothing happened there. Rawson into the box. Keeper makes the play. Bahara nursing an injury there in the goal. That is interesting. All right, there we go. Get control of the ball. 
Don't play around with it. All right, he lumps it. Kiko's on, or Ida's on the run. He cuts it in and then gets it past the keeper. That was a nice move by Ida, 13th of the season. We will be happy about that. That was a good move by him. Coming down that right flank. Oh, Rawson turned on that header and right into the keeper's arms. Demand more. Completely unmarked. Come on, boys. Put some pressure on them. Palmer with the cross, headed out. Reach squares it in. Tapped away, nice. Mitchell on the counter. He's got runners on each flank. Laid it through. Ida's there. And then he kicks it out. Oh, that was not, not good. Hold on, let's look at a sub here. Might still be too early. Tell you what, yep, I'm going to make that move. Into the box. Longo's got the ball. He holds it up. Mitchell with the steal into the box. He cannot find the goal. Wharton back into the mix. Nothing happens. All right, let me give a shout here, fellas. Come on. Hello. Let's ask for some creativity. A lot of yellow cards starting to pile up. I really don't. I'm going to go back to positive. I don't want to lose the point. That was that was poor. Aussie villain uh, suggests that I not curse. He didn't tell me that, but uh, he mentioned that in one of his videos that you know that gets you demonetized and. I don't get any money, which is fine. But, uh, you know, maybe I should practice for the future. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so maybe I should quit doing that. Oh, don't let them steal it from us here at the end, boys. And Kiko, he's going to be uh, taking an early shower. Um, Collins and Ida attacking mid-center. Tell you what, let's do that. I'm going to bring him all the way back. And we are going to put him on central mid on attack. So then I am going to make these guys support. And let's go ahead and slow the pace down with our keeper. Don't know if Collins is going to help us out much in midfield, but it didn't seem to matter. So we'll be without Kiko, but that keeps us a point up, although the goal differential is now in Southampton's favor. They must have won their last few games pretty handily. 3-1, uh, 4-0, along with that loss to Fulham. So we are still top of the table by three points. Southampton taking that loss uh, the other day. Uh, so that's looking good. Uh, we have had that big run of games, so let's take a quick look here. 12 and 19 for Ida, 10 and 18 for Collins, 6 for Leighton Stewart in uh, 15 appearances, and 3 for Stevenson. Uh, we've got 8 assists from Harvey White, along with 2 goals for him there. 4 assists for Nico Williams, who can't get into the lineup regularly. Although he is just coming back from an injury, too. So that's that's his problem because he is our starting right back. So scratch that. All right. Well, hopefully we can get a couple of these guys back here in the near future. Looking ahead, uh, we are into the second half of the season. So I want to get, I really want to just get through as many games as we can. Tell you what, key matchup. Let's come back for Nottingham and Southampton. 
I think that'll be a big one, and then that'll get us into the January transfer window. Maybe we come back for the FA Cup for that. They do want us to reach the fourth round, and we did get a little further last year. I think it'll depend on who we draw on that. But let's come back for Nottingham and Southampton. So I will see you guys for that uh, tomorrow. And, uh, hey, hit that like button. Hit the little ding-dong bell. And if you're new or you just haven't done it, subscribe for me. Thanks so much. And, uh, you know, anything you can do to get the news about the channel out there, you know, I'm still pushing for, uh, you know, baby steps. Let's get to 10 consistent views per episode. And uh, I think that's a good first step to look for. Uh, you know, I've got a lot of subscribers compared to other people, but I don't have the views on the videos. So that's, I think, the first thing is to get, you know, make sure we've got active subscribers and getting 10 views would be the first thing for that. Looking forward to FM21 to kind of get a better view. You know, I know things die down late in the cycle, but hey, you know, I, I, still 10, 10. Not a lot. All right, guys, have a good one. Peace.